Welcome back to Let's Play Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. I'm your host, Auto Director Jester, with my wonderful host, The Niskull. Today, uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of backtracking. What were you gonna say? I was just about to say I'm more of a toady than anything, because you know all about this game, I know nothing. I'm dragging him along because it's fun to watch the gaijin and be in culture shock, and what's all of this? <laughs> yeah, well, well. Anyway, continuing on from last episode, we're going to give the really expensive and really, really cumbersome and crazy as fuck to get cucumber to our friend Kihachi, who gives us the miracle item, <gasps> which we don't even get to see. <laughs> it's shaped like a snowflake? Oh, I guess I'll take your fucking word for it, then. However, if we uh, pause the game, we can actually see it. So, yeah. The gist of this episode is back backtracking and filling in what we have left, because now that we have all of the miracle items, we can do... We, we can pretty much go to the end of the game now. Oh. But, but there's a point of no return, so we're going to get some fortune dolls that we have missed. Our first stop is over at... The Festival Temple Castle. Yes! Please die in the first back. few seconds! We have to go back. Yes! We're going back. Yes! Uh, oh, fantastic! This is my favorite place! We have actually three things left to get in that place. Yeah, I, re I remember there was one room where I asked if you could double jump, and that didn't happen here yet, so I guess you gotta use <laughs> Sasuke's really funny jetpack thing. Now that we have Sasuke's flying magic ability, that means that we can go get the things that we've missed. Excellent. So, because I need a moment, we're gonna fade out <laughs> while I have a little cry. Okay, alright, alright. So, we have three things to get in this dungeon. A uh, silver fortune doll that we missed initially because I'm an idiot, and also is easier to get now that we have Sasuke's flying ability. And a fortune doll that we missed entirely because we couldn't get without Sasuke's flying ability. So that's... And also, an okay. item... Yeah. Ah, God! <laughs> <laughs> yes! That was for you, Niskel. I'm glad Woo! you were paying attention to what I was saying. Alright, I'm, I'm ready for this episode now. So we're collecting a grand total of three items, two of them fortune dolls, right? Yes, and the third one is an item for, uh... Well, the only... Dorku's left, which proves how useful it actually really is, because it really, really isn't. <laughs> in fact, it's the most useless item, and there's no point in getting it, but because I said 100%, and the 100% is right on the thumbnail, I guess I might as well make it 100%, I guess. I mean, you don't so. want any false advertising in this, uh, how old is this game? It's 1998, so almost <laughs> 20 years. Oh my god! So, this is the first fortune that we missed, and as you can see, it's pretty difficult to oh, get. Oh, okay. But now that we have Sasuke... It ain't no thing! <laughs> that is still the silliest looking thing. Anyway, so that's uh, one fortune doll, now we need uh, another fortune doll, and then an item. Even though looking back on it, I could have reached that doll entirely by climbing that ladder and just heading right. But yes, we do. we're gonna get the other fortune doll next! Uh, question for you, Mr. 100%er. Uh-huh. Are you gonna get Mr. Oliphant? No. Well, what, what's the I, point of I me watching that, then? I thought that maybe I would stumble up, like, stumble upon him accidentally. Like, hey, there he was all this time, but I still didn't find him. Wow. So if you want to make it, like, 99.99%, .99%, then fucking whatever. Oh my god, it's a map. It doesn't do anything towards 100% ability. Uh, some people might call me out on it. <laughs> if you do, you're banned! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you uh, somehow find something uh, negative with my playthrough, then uh, go fuck yourself. Again, walkthroughs for this particular game are quite difficult because, of course, I used a walkthrough to get these fucking fortune dolls. <laughs> Shush, don't spoil the magic! Shush. There is no magic to be had here. <laughs> but, uh,. They're usually very descriptive, for the most part, until we get to this fucking dungeon, because of how completely labyrinthine it is. Hmm. I don't know if I've ever said that word right or not. Labyrinthian. Labyrinthian. I can, I can just imagine... The pronunciation for that word is labyrinthian, even. I can just imagine if you looked at a walkthrough and it just says, Pray. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
the Dark Souls 3 manual! <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> Hope hopefully we'll run into something here. Fuck We've off, fireworks! To. I got things to do! Oh, here we okay. go. So my bad, we're not going to go for the, uh, the fortune doll yet. We're going for the special item first. The useless item. That's easily reachable by Sasuke's flying ability. The Meat Saw Hammer for Ebisumaru. Any item that appears after beating an enemy is changed into a dumpling, which means that you get more dumplings when you kill enemies. But at this point in your health, there is no need to get more dumplings. Exactly. We've never had a real problem with health. Like, you know, there's never been like a, oh shit, dude, you're gonna die moment. What has there? No, I mean, no, except for the one time you died twice in a row. That was very, very funny. But, uh, well, no, you have not never... Not my fault! <laughs> not my fault. Yeah, yeah, sure. This is this is the bane of my existence for this fucking game. <laughs> Fuck this dungeon. We just gotta get this one more fucking fortune doll, and we never have to talk about this ever again, and never have to play this again, because now it's been shown on the internet for all to see. Yeah, exactly. Eternity. For all posterity. So, so at least you'll go down in infamy as the one who couldn't figure out Festival Castle. Bite me. This this <laughs> fucking sucks. This fucking sucks. Okay, that's a that's a very good. Uh, the bite me UDJ twenty fifteen. We'll use that in your presidential campaign. You can do bite me UDJ nineteen ninety five, and it still makes sense. Yes, it will. <laughs> so. uh... This is the room that we got the the uh, kunai of severe cold, which we just used there. And by using the flying ability to jump over the gate, we go to this special hidden place that you can only access with Sasuke's flying ability. Oh, okay. And I'll give you folks at home three guesses at what's at the end of this little corridor. Is it A, a fortune doll, B, a fortune doll, or C, the end of the game? Uh, can I have another hint? Uh, d it's not D, failure. Oh, well, I I'm all out of ideas, dude. God, this game's hard! I'll give you a hint, it's either A or B. <laughs> this is the Dark Souls of Japanese platformers from Konami! It is... It, yeah, it does get a little cryptic sometimes. Well, I mean, I wouldn't have thought of, you know, just flying in something arbitrary. This is the first time I've ever got, like, all of the fortune dolls. And, uh... So, of course, while uh, recording this... I was like, oh, that's clever. Several times of getting the fortune dolls I never thought to get. Like, going back after defeating Congo and getting that one fortune doll. Mm. In Oedo Castle. That, that's... That's interesting. Oh. So there. Oh, oh ah! God! <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was going to happen! You just had to fuck me one more time, didn't you? Just one more fucking time, didn't you? <laughs> oh, that's perfect! This is why I did this first. It's going to be nothing but smooth sailing on the way out. I should, I should hope so. Yeah. And this is where the flying ability is commonly used. <laughs> I can't believe that actually happened. I was just thinking, it's like, there's no way there's going to be like one final pit that he's going to fall. Oh, look at that. What well, happened a second time because God hates me? <laughs> no. Yeah. Done. 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 Fuck. So glad we're out of there. So glad we're out of there. So, where to next? Now we're gonna be rocking his yai for most of this. Because we're gonna go back to the ghost toys count. Oh, God. <laughs> sorry, sorry. We're going back to the ghost toys castle to get one fortune doll that we can't. We, we can only get with Yai's mermaid ability. Oh, okay. This is just a jack-of-all-trades episode, isn't it? Oh, yes. Just because, uh... Like, there's the point of no return, and uh, we need to make sure we get everything else before we get to the point of no return, I guess. And you were telling me, like, the length of this game, and by the way, I do agree with you, it is criminally short, because you said we've got about three episodes left? God, not another Law & Order reference. <laughs> So, so yeah, there's only one fortune doll left in here with them we, that we can only get with Yai's ability, and that still works, and fuck that thing too. 
I've noticed with a lot of these games that you or I let's play, there's always something that we absolutely hate, but the rest of the game's awesome. Maybe it's because we're just on camera and we're exaggerating our hatred a little bit, even though we generally like this game. No, no, I know for a fact that you absolutely hate <laughs> a lot of these castles. But I love this game to death. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Right, it's kind of a love and hate kind of thing. Maybe it's because the good outweighs the bad and, you know, the the imperfections make it seem perfect in your mind. I there you guess. go. I, I don't know. I think you're overthinking things, but yeah, I agree. Well, maybe we should overthink things, especially in this, you know, maturing medium. What if the switching between the four characters is somehow related to communism? I think the fact that UDJ has played as Yaismos this Let's Play proves that he's sexist against women. Especially when he goes underwater and turns into a mermaid. <laughs> he hates women. <laughs> oh, God, let's not open that can of worms. <laughs> Please, no! Uh, oh, hey, is this the room? No. What? No. Oh, well, I'm, I'm trying to guess. You're close, though. This is the room. What? Really? We, we gotta go down to the basement. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Uh, here we go, deep water. That's right. And if you remember, I pointed this out in the last episode, and the last time we were here. Oh, yeah, you did. And lo and behold, there <gasps> it is. A silver fortune doll. Bam. You know, I'm glad this is the first time I've seen one of these. One of what? <laughs> Nothing. Oh! That's a buzzer for me getting the joke on time. <laughs> Smooth move, x <laughs> What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what? Save that for the blooper reel. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Next up on our list is, well, we're going to go to Key's Coffee Shop. There's another missing fortune doll over at this area. I must ask, Yes. are there any fortune dolls that you can just outright buy? No. Okay, you, can all, so, you can always find them. There's no real buying any of them. Okay. So they're all out in the world. You can't just go to a shop and buy one for like 2000 Exactly. And if you're wondering, I'll mention this a couple of times just to reiterate this. You see uh, how, how many hearts we have? Yes. If you have... All we need to do is fill in that missing heart, and then we have all the fortune dolls that we need for the point of no return, because the last five are in this final area. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, just keep, just keep that in mind. If you're missing two, then you're good to go. So we are heading back to Yamato, this place with the shrine and all that, with the turtles and everything. And the really fucking awesome, catchy song. But then again, that really narrows it down, right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I have noticed a lot of people have been agreeing with you and saying the soundtrack is really awesome. Oh, it's it's amazing. Go look it up. I mean, I'm sure you can find it on YouTube somehow, but just listen to this soundtrack. It's amazing. Or just play this game! Hell, I mean, I've had problems with it, but despite its flaws, get it anyway. It's a great game. Why is this not on the virtual console yet? I know! That's what a lot of people are saying! That's what people have been saying for years. But anyway, turn to Mermaid, go down this bridge, and go into here. There's a secret passageway. <gasps> I would have totally forgotten about this at this point in the game. Well, I didn't point it out, but hey, look at that! Another fucking fortune doll. And one more. We got one left. One left. Where could it be? Well, let's go right to it. Seriously. Heading over to Zazen Town for this one. Right at the beginning? Well, well not right to... Or, like, get close to the beginning. We're, we're going to get right to the pathway to go get to it. We're, we are going to go towards the way to go get the thing that we need to get. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Did you yeah. just Jeff Goldblum on me there for a second? I, I think I did. How do you feel about that? 
um, uh, 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 uh dinosaurs. We need to be Sasuke for this one. <laughs> Jetpack Sasuke. Yep, <laughs> you guessed it. Jetpack Sasuke. <laughs> See, I actually thought like flying magic meant he grew wings or something. Not that he just builds himself a jetpack. Oh, believe me, I thought the same thing when I was ten too. I'm not ten. Flying? That means he grows wings, right? Sasuke with wings. <laughs> the hell is that? That's lame. <laughs> Jet propelled wings. What is this? Oh, so going down the Duck I River. Think you're the uh -huh, yeah. Oh my oh, gosh! Hey, hey, hey! Ah, good times. Oh my gosh! So now we have all the fortune dolls we need, and we are now ready to make our way to the end of the game. Our next stop is a little place. Whoa! Uh, our, <laughs> our next. Whoa! Uh, Hello. Apparently the game is not used to people being up there and then going right back down there. Because now something's wrong. I can't move the camera at all. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Oh, oh lord! <laughs> ah! It went Mortal Kombat Special Forces on me! Oh, no! Oh, gee oh. okay. Here we go. Don't be Thanks, a Jax! Thanks, Nintendo 64! Don't be a Jax! <laughs> Make it our way over Festival Village better than Festival Temple. <laughs> we have everything we need now. So now we're gonna go and reach the end of this game. It's been... It's been fun, hasn't it? Very. You know, this, is, this has been a fun project. I just I just did it kind of out of a whim, and do you know what? <clears throat> Just for you, I'll go ahead and rock it as Evis tomorrow. Yes! That's my boy, that's my dude! Well, I think we've used enough of him because, frankly, the game doesn't have much use for him, so I'll go ahead and use him for you. <laughs> He's a useless character, which is why I'm using him. He is best comic relief. Because <laughs> he's crucial, he gives all the best jokes, and he's just charming enough and just useless enough to not hate him. Oh, I guess I should have asked this earlier. That new hammer we got for him? Mm -hmm. Did that give him a damage boost, or does it literally just turn enemies into food? I don't even think it fucking does anything. <laughs> it's a fucking useless piece of shit. It's it's fucking useless. And with how much health we have, with how many lives we have, and with a bit of an extra boost attached to that in our items, you know, we're not gonna die. We good. We so good. <sighs> I get chills every time I come here. I don't know why. Maybe just because going from the intense uh, Mount Fear where there's seagulls dropping bombs to where suddenly everything is quiet. It's just... Ugh. Or maybe it's the snow. It just... I don't know. It just gives me chills every time. But here we go. Are you ready, man? I'm ready. We got all the miracle items. And now, take us to outer space. It just, it just feels like though that something's missing though. Something is missing. I I don't feel going and ending things just yet. We gotta do things right, man. We gotta do it right. We gotta we gotta finish business. Do you know what I mean, man? Do, do you know what I mean? I'm getting a vibe. We gotta make sure we're prepared. We gotta make sure we've done everything that there is to be done. Cause didn't I say 100%? I did say 100%. And we're gonna make sure that we maximize whatever the fuck we can. Do you know what I mean, man? Mo money, mo problems. Mo money, mo fucking problems. <laughs> or maybe a lack thereof. Oh. Dare I? Dare I? Money! Yes. Let's do this, man. Let's oh, fucking money. do this! We're gonna get 10,000 gold here! But I'm not gonna show you all of that. Do you think I'm insane? you think I'm gonna put you people through that? No. See, I was no. ready for the long haul. I got my drink. I've, I've got time to spare. 
Well, luckily, you people at home have got the wonderful luxury of a convenient crossfade. So here we go. It's a good long one, too. There we go. Almost there. We've almost got 9,999 gold. The maximum the game will allow. There we go. And that's just, that's just for good measure. I'm gonna leave that one to tell the rest. Are you actually going to buy stuff with your money? I actually did. Because you look there, I rebought the gold uh, helmet and the gold armor. Which means that we just got 16 extra free hits on that. <laughs> And, oh, then I, and then I went back and maxed out my money again because I'm petty like that. And also, uh, I went back to the uh, Festival Village shop and bought more lives. So now we're at max lives, too. Nine lives. Because at, at the secret shop here in Festival Village where you have to use Yai to swim underneath and all that, um, <laughs> you can buy infinite surprise packs for 500 gold, which of course I fucking had. And, you, and I bought more armor. So now, let me do some math with you. With our 9,999 gold, and with our two gold armors, all the dolls, to this point, giving us 18 hearts. That's 36 hits, with 10 hearts if we die, with that little dumpling thing we have there. Gives us a, this gives us a total of 72 hits that we have to lose before we lose one life. Giving us a- and, uh... With, uh, all of the lives that we have left, that gives us, like, 60, 36 more hits with each subsequent life after that. Which gives us a grand total of 324 hits before we can get, get a game over, as of right now. <laughs> However, given we have five fortune dolls left to get in this next chapter, we can have a grand total of 40 hits across 20 hearts, only giving us even more hits, especially since getting four fortune dolls and the gold one gives you full health. Adding to the total, not only that, but we also have the meat saw hammer for practically free health whenever we want it, save for one-hit KOs, which we're as prepared as we possibly be for that, so we're not gonna fucking die! Are you ready for the end of this game? Bring it on. You don't share my enthusiasm. Oh, I'm not sharing your enthusiasm because I just want you to splice in the part where you died immediately. Fortunately, there are no one-hit KOs in this next dungeon. Okay, good. <laughs> that was just only for Festival Temple Castle because that place fucking hates me. Oh! Gorgeous musical castle! Well, <laughs> they're starting off with a bang! Awesome! Oh, yes, they're gonna hammer you in. Oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus. Oh, God! So, this is the final dungeon of the game. Things are gonna get intense. Next time on Let's Play Mr. Winter Song Goemon! <laughs>